And now for something completely different. I know everyone comes here for video game stuff, but I wanted to make a video of a more personal nature for just a second about mental health and about my dog Clyde. No, Clyde isn't depressed or anxious, he's fine, but those are two elements that tie into how he became my dog. Longtime viewers of this channel have seen Clyde at least a couple times, or his little brother Ulysses, and it seems like everyone is happy to see them when they show up. Rather than wait for a sad occasion to tell Clyde's story, I'd rather do it now, and who knows, maybe this will help some of you out there that were in the same place I was. So, I am 37 years old and I've dealt with anxiety and subsequent depression for as long as I can remember, going as far back as my earliest childhood memories. Some folks out there watching this may not have a frame of reference for either of those two things, and they're tough definitions to pin down because everyone has their own unique experience with each. For instance, for me, anxiety manifests in a physical sense. I just have a low threshold for external stimuli. I can only take so much noise, crowds, people, chaos, even light sometimes, that I either shut down and withdraw for a couple days, or I reach critical mass, which results in what is referred to as a panic attack. Dealing with this is constant, never-ending work. It's like perpetual brain maintenance. The Netflix show BoJack Horseman has a great quote about dealing with mental issues like this, with a character saying, It gets easier. Every day it gets a little easier. But you gotta do it every day. That's the hard part. But it does get easier. That's all true, but the thing is, the work and the brain maintenance gets old. It really gets old, and sometimes you need a break, and that's where stuff like alcohol comes in, and it's where depression arrives. Now, just on a side note here, if you ever want proof that I never thought this channel would blow up, just take a look at my name, SNES Drunk. It was just a name that I flippantly put maybe 30 seconds of thought into, and now I'm kind of stuck with it. I really don't drink that much. And I was mostly making fun of the fact that just the acronym SNES, when it's said like a word, it sounds like you're slurring something, like you're drunk. I just thought it was a funny gag, that's all. Well, throughout my 20s, alcohol was a bit more than a funny gag. It was an escape, an escape from all that work and brain maintenance. Wow, an easy way to shut off my mind and get the hell away from everything and pretend like I'm not a complete mess? Sign me up for some of that. So I did a lot of binge drinking, which led to a lack of sleep, which led to other health problems, which led me further down a rabbit hole I didn't know how to find my way out of. That is, until one day, my girlfriend suggested, hey, maybe you should get a dog or something. And I thought, yeah, that might help pull me out of this malaise, at least in a superficial sense. He'll be like my little buddy. I'll just toss him a treat every once in a while and he'll be fine. So we went to the Animal Humane Society in Golden Valley, Minnesota, and unfortunately we didn't come across a good fit for me until we were on our way out. My girlfriend noticed what was described as a corgi mix, and I'd skipped past its kennel since I didn't see a dog in there, but it turns out he was in there alright, curled up in a ball in the furthest possible place away from the main hallway. He did not want anything to do with the rest of the shelter. We took him outside to get to know him, and he burrowed his head into my lap, and well, that was that. At that moment, I knew I had a dog. But it wasn't until I got home that it really started to sink in. I named him Cly T. Dog, the T of course standing for the, and he was trotting around the house, checking things out, picking out potential napping spots, and I was just sitting on my couch realizing what I'd just done. This goofy little guy was now my responsibility. Me? I'm the one responsible for something? I can't even take care of myself. What the hell was I thinking? I can't do this. I'm just some naive, sheltered doofus. Nothing is supposed to need me. And at that moment, I just lost it. I, I sat there and cried like a baby for like 15 minutes. And Clyde just sat there and stared at me, just a total blank stare. Like he was saying, yeah, uh, could you maybe uh, get over yourself? And I guess that's what it eventually boiled down to, learning to get over myself. How I felt wasn't the be-all, end-all of the universe. Life is going to go on, and the world is going to keep turning, regardless of how I feel. And that life now includes this dog, who I'm now responsible for. And he does not care how I feel, how depression is hitting me that day, how anxious I am, or anything like that. Because he needs me to take care of him. 
that was seven years ago, and I can look back on it as the day that my life changed for the better. From then on, my life wasn't just twisting in the wind. I had structure. I had to put my own personal nonsense aside because now I was part of something bigger than myself. Okay, it's still just a dog, so it's not that much bigger, especially in the case of a little guy like Clyde, but it was definitely what I needed. We walk twice a day for an hour, rain or shine, every single day, including the day you're watching this. And hey, what do you know? Having structure and being outside every day turned out to be extremely beneficial. Now, I don't want to give the wrong idea here. Obviously, I'm not saying, hey, adopt a dog and you'll cure your depression. You won't be anxious anymore. You'll be a superhero. All my anxiety and depression nonsense is all still there, and it's still the same amount of work. But Clyde Dog makes that work a little easier and a little more worth it. And looking back, taking care of something gave me the confidence to do stuff I never thought I was capable of doing, like moving 1,200 miles across the country from Minneapolis to Albuquerque, or adopting another dog who we named Ulysses, or creating this channel that you're watching right now, which has somehow inexplicably ballooned to over 100,000 subscribers. And I can definitively say none of those things would have been possible if it weren't for Clyde's smug expression on his weird little butt nose face. So, here's to Clyde, the 26-pound little weirdo that helped save my life. And I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.